right, we are back talking about fractions, 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 fractions. Oh, yeah. So uh, today we are going to uh, talk about word problems, um, specifically word problems dealing with fractions. So uh, the technique, well, before we go to the word problem, the technique that we're going to use um, is something that I want you to remember for all word problems that you do, and it's called RDW. Um, RDW means read, draw, write. Um, and you read, you read your, your story problem, right? Your word problem. You read it. You draw what you're seeing. Why do you draw it while you're reading it? Well, you draw it because a lot of times we look at a story problem and we say, hey, what the heck is it asking? I do not understand. And that's why drawing it is really important. We want to be able to understand it. And they found that uh, the research shows that if you draw it while you're reading it, rather than reading it a billion times and not getting it even after a billion times, if you draw it while you read it, uh, it helps in the understanding process. It kind of clicks things, right? And then the writing portion is, it's a word problem. You have to answer the question that the problem asks. It's a story problem. You have to answer that question. So that's what we want to keep in mind as we do this. So here is your problem. And uh, as we do this, I want you to keep this in mind. I'm just going to put it up at the top and we'll say, okay. Um, so let's move on from here. All right, so we have our problem of Leonard, and Leonard spent a fourth of his money on a sandwich. Cool. Way to go, Leonard. He spent two times as much on a gift for his brother as on, on some comic books, and he had three-eighths of, of his money left. What fraction of his money did he spend on comic books? So that's what we really need to spend. Do we know how much money he has? No, but we have fractions, and that's what we're going to use. Um, so first off, I'm going to add uh, just um, a shape to represent our friend's money, Leonard's money. So here's Leonard's money, and here's what he's doing. And he spent a fourth. So notice I've read it, I'm drawing it, um, and I'm modeling that for you. He spent a fourth of his money on, well, let's, let's do this a little better. So let's put it here. So he spent a fourth of his money on a sandwich, okay? So we're just going to call this sandwich. Do you ever misspell sandwich? I, I've done that a couple times. Uh, so there's sandwich, right? So he has, he has a sandwich, and we want this to represent all of his money. So this is all of Leonard's money, okay? Um, so everything he has. So we'll put all, all money. That's a money sign. Put a circle around it. So um, all his money. Okay, so here is Leonard's money. Let me move this down in case. Uh, whoops, that's not going to move that down. Let me undo that. Uh, that won't work the way I wanted it to. Um, if I do this, though, it will move everything down. Okay, cool. Um, so now, now we have good old Leonard and all of his money, and he spent a fourth of it on a sandwich. And this is a fourth, right? Does everyone see that? It's a fourth. One, two, three, four, and that's a fourth of it. So it says he spent two times as much on a gift for his brother as on comic books. I don't really know what that means. Um, so I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm just going to look at this. He had three-eighths of his money left. Well, how do I determine what three-eighths is? Well, if this is a fourth, I can also make this into eighths, and then I can start to deal with what is three eighths. Okay, so I'm going to split that into eighths. Well, in this case, three eighths, three eighths, one, two, three, right? Here we go right here. I'll color it in for you, right? So three eighths. Well, you know what? Let's color code it. That sounds fun. So here is what he has left. Here is how, what he spent on the sandwich, right? And this is uh, money left, so left over, left over. And now uh, we have this right here. So it says, he spent two times as much on a gift for his brother as on some comic books. So two times, this is what we have to work with right here. The, these three eighths right here. Um, so we need two times as much. Well, if we have three pieces, two times as much would be 
um, that he made me spend one eighth on a comic book and two on his brother, right? Two on his brother. So uh, that is how we would look. So this is the gift. This is the gift and the comics. Okay, so what do each of these represent? Well, the gift, each of those are an eighth, right? So here's an eighth, uh, and here's an eighth. So that's two eighths. And on the comics, that, right, if that's highlighting this piece here, is only one eighth, right? So that's one eighth. And what we are doing is the we can look at we could show the math because what is left here it is right here how many pieces one two three four five six seven so out of the whole out of all his money uh seven eighths was either used or left over right used up on the sandwich used up on the on the gift and he has that left over so one uh, uh seven eighths would be um, 8 over 8, take away 7 eighths, which would be that 1 eighth, which is what we got for the comics, showing our math. And then this is a word problem, so we got to go back to the question, what fraction of his money did he spend on comic books? So if I'm writing this, uh, let's do it in blue, it's pretty. Uh, Leonard uh, spent 1 eighth of his money on comics. I might even say comic books, but I'm just gonna say on comics, cool? So that's how you would do a word problem. Read, uh, draw, and write, all uh, very important. You read the word problem or the story problem. I like to think of them as story problems, even though they're never that great of stories because you know they got a bunch of numbers in them. Um, so uh, then you uh, draw it and draw what you see. That's the biggest thing. If you could take away anything, just draw what you're seeing. Draw it and see if it makes sense. And then if you do it wrong, draw it a different way. Try something else because uh, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't fail just a little bit. And you're not even going to understand it really if you don't make a few mistakes along the way. So good luck and uh, have fun uh, trying to figure out some more word problems. Thank <laughs> you.